I finally got a friend! Yo YouTube, it's MBL here. Today we're diving into commands, cool interactive messages and all nice. the magic behind them. Let's go! First, let's add a comment. If you saw my last video, which you should, you already know I never named them. Now we see a huge purple block, but don't worry, it's pretty easy. The name is the... Name of the command. Alias. There. Aliases. You can add multiple aliases by separating them with commas. Next, we have the description of the command, which appears when using slash help and our command. 10. Permissions. These determine who can run the command using a permission management plugin like Lookperms. You can also use OP or operator to restrict it to operators only. If a player doesn't have a permission, they'll see this message. Lastly, we have usage, which appears in slash help and our plugin name. It's not the same as the description. Now, let's send a message to the player. We will use the player class with the method send message. The player receiving the message is the command sender. The message is a string, a fancy word for text. Now, there are special sorts of strings in Visual Bucket, which gives the string different properties, like allowing it to have colors. To combine hello and our player name, we use string concatenation, which is just a way of smashing hello. words together. First, we type hello, then add a space and a color code to color the rest. Now, how do we get the player's name? Getting something is an action, and actions are methods. We use player class and the getName method. Pay close attention to the brackets and the arrow. The open brackets indicate it doesn't need any input, but gives a string as output. This string is then given to the string concatenation, which adds it to the rest of the message. In the end, the send message string method requires a string as input, which we gave and thus the code should work. As you can see, our commands and our aliases work. Now, this wasn't very exciting, was it? Let's spice things up with some JSON magic for cooler and interactive messages. We'll create a socials command that links you to your server's shop, YouTube, etc. by clicking on the message. Now, because my brain looks like this, we'll use a website to generate the JSON. Here, you can tweak your message using these icons. You could make your text bold, italic, underlined, strike through, obfuscated, or you could use special effects using the button. And of course, color. To add actions to our text, Select your text and press on the arrow. You can see there is a list of possibilities to perform. You can also create a tooltip when your mouse hovers over the text. Now, let's make something quick. A few moments later. If you're done and, well, happy with the result, click on Generate JSON and copy it, so we can use it in visual buckets. Now add a command, add a method, select player class and use the method send message base component. Wait, huh? why? See, 
Our text needs special effects like obfuscation, links, hover messages, etc. To handle that, we use Component Serializer. It will parse the string, which means scanning the text and finding all the different parts so it understands the JSON and thus adds the cool properties. If we test things out, we see that everything works, even our links. Before you click away, subscribe! It keeps me going and helps me make more content like this. Goodbye!